All right, so as promised, we are back with a showcase for the four new Dragon Ball Fusions Extreme Z Awakenings on Global. Specifically, I'm talking about the Tech Caroli, the STR Barlot, the Int Pandel, and also the AGL Bullpen. Now, I gotta be honest, I haven't really had a chance to use these units since I finished their Extreme Z Battle event, so I'm not 100% sure exactly what to expect here. But I do know that they're all very, very good. So yeah, with that said, let's jump into the super class only stage of Extreme Super Battle Road with this crossover team here and uh, find out exactly how good these guys are. So on this first rotation, we have the Barlot, the Caroli, and also the uh, Trunks for support. And Caroli is starting with 178,000 defense, which is very good. Barla only has 65k, but he will be getting a lot more defense once we give him some orbs. And uh, Trunks has 77k. So, uh, first things first, let's hop in Icarus. Even though these guys are going to be pretty tanky, this is still Extreme Super Battle Road, so it's not really worth the risk. And uh, we're going to target the Sashimi guy with our Barlat and give him... Uh, 8 orbs, that's pretty good. So 8 orbs for Barlot, which increases his defense to over 200,000. And then we'll target Frieza with Karoli. And uh, let's go for... Let's go back to Sashimi. Or J Shisami, right? Something like that. Uh, Shisami with the, with the Trunks. Okay. So with the Icarus active... As you can see, Barla is very, very tanky. Also getting some good attack there. And he did have a medium chance. Uh, no, no, it was a high chance. He had a high chance for an additional super, which we didn't get, but Broly did get the additional. And uh, he stunned Frieza, which is awesome. He did take a lot of damage though from Sorbet. But that's not a surprise because on Extreme Super Bad Road, if you're taking a type disadvantage super, right, like you have type disadvantage, then you're always going to be taking a crap ton of damage. That's just how it goes. So even with over 170k defense, still got to be very careful, right? So uh, first showing, not bad, not bad. Over 3 mil for Barlot, and then the double super, um, close to 3 mil per super for the Caroli. Now this turn, we have the two Bajitos and also the Pandel. And Pandel has, I think, the dodge chance. Let me just quickly check. Uh, okay, so 7% per fusion category ally. We have one, two, three, four fusion. So she has a, what, 28% chance to dodge right now. So not a great chance. It's actually closer to a medium chance. Um, so we'll leave her in the middle right now. I think we'll be okay with Frieza sealed, or stunned rather, to not have to use another item. And uh, let's go for Sorbet here with my Vegito. And we'll target Tagoma with uh, Pandel. And then we'll go for uh, Sorbet again with the other Vegito. Oh, hold on. Let me check her defense. So she has 176k. That's pretty good. That That is... Pretty solid. All right. Let's see what Pandel can do. And the Vegitos, I think, will be tanky enough to not really be in trouble if we get supered. Uh, we should be able to take out Sorbet, actually, with the double Vegito attacks. Okay, so some pretty decent damage, I would say, from, uh, from Pandel. Um... She does not hit as hard as I was hoping she would. Uh, I thought maybe her attack stat would be like closer to 2.5 or something like that. Um, but considering she is a pretty good support unit, it's not bad. It's not bad. All right. So this turn, we have the bullpen as well. I'm going to keep the Barlot and the Caroli together, mainly because uh, they're very good linking partners. And Pandel has 155,000 defense. So I'm going to use a Princess Snake this turn, just to be safe. 
And uh, let's put uh, Caroli. Forgot his name for a second. Caroli in the first slot. Uh, we'll try to kill Frieza with him. Oh snap. I think I accidentally targeted Tagoma. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hope that uh, we get a crit from the bar lot and we can kill Frieza because I'm a little bit worried about those attacks after Karoli. Or sorry, after Barlot. So uh, hopefully, you know, this doesn't turn out too bad. Because I did definitely make a mistake there. I meant to target Frieza with Karoli, but instead, we we targeted Tagoma. And now Frieza might wreck our Karoli, which would really suck. Okay, so 2.8 mil. Sorry, no, 2.18 mil from Karoli. And I think he killed, he killed Frieza. Wow. That, that worked out pretty well. That that worked out pretty well. All right, so uh, just the Shisami left, and I am going to trust that Pandel will not get us killed. I don't know if that's a good idea, but I don't want to use another item in this fight, so hopefully it works out. Only 7k, that's actually really, really good. Yeah, no, that's that's actually great for no items being used, right? Like not having any damage reduction. I'll take that. I'll definitely take that. Okay, second fight, five enemies here. Pretty scary. We got uh, Hit, uh, Kaba, Frost, Magetta, and also Winnie the Pooh. And I'm gonna use a Whis here to start. Let's put Vegeta at the end. Let's uh, put Barla in that first slot. And we'll go for Winnie the Pooh. Uh, let's give him as many orbs as possible. I guess seven would be the number. Okay, seven orbs for Barlot. He gets 182,000 defense. Uh, we'll go for Frost with a Roly. And then, of course, hit with the Bajito. Okay, yep, good tanking. No supers yet. Very, very solid. And then 2.7 mil is the attack stat here. Nice crit, additional super. Yo! What happened to the high chance for additional? Like, I think with 5 orbs, it's a 50% chance. Roly also has a 50% chance. And he's been getting additional supers, like, all day. Okay, not there, but... <laughs> you guys saw it in the previous fight, right? Roly was getting a ton of additionals. So I'm expecting Barlot to at least get like an additional once every two to three turns, but so far it's not really happening. It's not really working out the way that I thought it would, which is kind of annoying. Okay, so I'm gonna put uh, Pandel in the first slot. Let's go for uh, Kaba and then Bagetta obviously with uh, Bullpan. Uh, about 165k for both of them, and then we'll attack hit again with the Vegito. And we still have the Whis active, so not too concerning at the moment. 100, or sorry, 1.8 mil, 1.8 mil for Pandel. Okay, uh, she is tanking well, and then 100. Why do I keep saying 100? 1.8 mil again for Bullpen with the additional super. So this one is closer. The 2 mil. Alright. She did get her guard though. She got guard, so this should do no no damage. There you go. And this should also do no damage. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, 81 and 92 for two extreme super bad road supers. That's amazing. That's amazing. Now, uh, it is only a high chance to guard, not guaranteed guard, so... Wait, hold on. Let me let me just make sure. I think it is high chance to guard. Uh, high chance to guard. Yeah. Um, all attacks. So, yeah. Like even though when she does guard, it's amazing, right? Like when she when she gets her guard off, she is you know gonna be one of the tankier units in the game. But I don't love it when 
units have a chance to guard as opposed to guaranteed guard, because you never really know what to expect from them defensively. Uh, like the Super Saiyan God Vegeta EZA on JP, right? Like, even though he can be extremely tanky, on some turns, if he doesn't tank, or if he doesn't guard, then he could still get you killed, right? So it's just like, that unpredictability is not really fun. But anyways, uh, we got 10 orbs, I think, for Barlat, so 234k defense for this turn, which is amazing. And uh, we can definitely finish off Frost here. And let's try to finish off Winnie the Pooh as well. Wait, hold on. Did I target Winnie the Pooh with uh, Barlat? I think I did, right? So he should be dead. Okay, additional super? There's the additional super. Okay, finally. 3.79 mil here and a third super 4 mil so he felt bad he heard me right he felt bad about not getting additionals before so now he's just getting all the additionals apparently <laughs> and there goes frost there's the additional super for caroli hopefully a stun there's the stun and a third super oh my god so he got over 4 mil there right because he gets an additional attack boost when the enemy is stunned. Uh, I think it's 70%, but I gotta check it. But wow, that was a great turn, man. <laughs> that was... That was a ridiculously impressive turn. And now we're moving on to the last stage here against Rose and Zamasu. I remember these guys were a huge pain in the butt. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be extra careful here, but let me check Karoli's defense. Or sorry, uh, his, uh, his passive, his passive. So it's an additional 59% attack when the target enemy is stunned. So we went from 2.7 mil to 4.2 mil after the stun. Like that's that's crazy. And now we're definitely gonna have to use a Whis. And then we can uh let me see. Let's go for Zamasu first. Yeah, I think I think that's fine. Although I don't know if I trust Pendel. Maybe we should put Bullpan for the guard. But what if she doesn't guard? That's why I don't like units that don't guard, you know? And also we have a Dokken attack, like this turn. So who's going to hit harder? I think I think Bullpan like, hits marginally harder than Pendel. But as you guys saw earlier, um, neither of them really hit that hard. So I guess it doesn't really matter that much. All right, token attack. There we go. And oh, we're getting supered first. All right, hopefully it's a guard. Oh, she got the guard. She got the guard. That's amazing. That That is amazing. See, when the guard... That's weird. Why is it telling me how to do a Dokkan mode when I've done a ton of Dokkan attacks? since version Z came out. That makes no sense. Yo, I don't know if you guys have had this problem too, but <clears throat> other people have been telling me that apparently there's a bit of a glitch going on with version Z where like sometimes tutorials will just keep repeating themselves. You know, like a tutorial you've seen before will just, you know, keep popping up every time you do a certain action and it's like really weird. Um, let me know if you guys have experienced that problem. I haven't experienced experienced it too much, but that was weird. Like that that was. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Either way, I'm a I'm a focus on the run. Uh, we're doing pretty well. We're doing pretty well. These guys are actually really impressing me. Even though offensively, I gotta say I was expecting more from Pandel and Bullpan. Uh, their links obviously are not super high. I think they're all like closer to like 1 than 10, right? So it's like they could get more attack. They could definitely do more damage, but probably not a ton more damage, right? So I guess what I'm trying to say is like I wish they would hit harder, but the uh, defense has been good. The, the dodging and all that stuff has been good. So defensively, they're very sound. Offensively, they could be better. But these guys, the Caroli and the Rosé, no, sorry, we're attacking Rosé. The Caroli and the Barlat, uh, offensively and defensively, have been very, very impressive. So, um, as a whole, like these four, I think are all good, but it seems pretty clear 
that Caroli and Barlat are in a different tier than uh, Pendel and Bullpan. But the fact that they're all usable now is is amazing because before the EZAs, like none of them were units that you would actually use on a team. And now you can use Pendel for like a Fusions team and she would get a high chance to dodge basically. Ooh, nice additional there with the uh, boost from the from the stun. Um, but yeah, now she'll do very well on a Fusions team as a support. You can also use Wolpan on like, I don't know, Hybrid Saiyans or Peppy Gals or Fusions as well, of course. So yeah, just the fact that they're very usable, they're relevant now is, is great in my opinion. And Rose is sealed, or sorry, he's stunned, so we don't have to worry about any attacks from him this turn. And let's finish things out. Here we go. Hopefully this is the last rotation. But since these guys don't hit that hard, it might take one more rotation to get it done. Okay, additional super from Bullpen. I like that. And hopefully a couple of supers from her and then Trunks should finish the job. This Trunks, by the way, is quite good. <laughs> he's, he's actually very, very good. Okay, so my boy Barlot will finish it off. Um, I'm trying to think between Barlot and Caroli who has impressed me more. I think it's... Hmm, I think it's Caroli because of his consistency maybe. Since Barlot, like if you can't get him a good amount of orbs, then his you know, attack and defense will not be that good. Whereas for Barlot, he's always going to consistently give you close to 200k defense and also close to 3 mil attack with the additional supers and the stun, which is really useful for Super Battle Road slash Extreme Super Battle Road, right? So I think maybe, maybe Caroli's the best of the batch, but uh, Barlot's pretty close. And then, you know, these two girls, I think are pretty even between the two. Um... But maybe Pandel a bit more because she is a better support. She gives uh, attack and defense plus 30%. Whereas the bullpen, I think, only gives some key. Yeah, she only gives some key. So I would say I would say it goes Caroli, Barlot, Pandel, and Bullpen. Although I really like Bullpen's guard even if it's only a high chance instead of like great chance or uh guaranteed but guaranteed guard is really broken so maybe that's why they didn't give it to her it would have been nice though <laughs> it would have been nice though but nonetheless um very good extremes awakenings all around i've been impressed considering this is extreme super battle road arguably still the hardest event in the game um, they did extremely well here, right? So that's going to be the showcase, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about them and also how you would rank these four EZAs uh, from, you know, number one to number four. With number four, or with number one, obviously, being the best, right? So <laughs> that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.